Today's video is brought to you by Masterworks. Welcome to EV News Weekly, where we bring you the top stories every week in the world of electric vehicles. So make sure you're subscribed and make sure you turn on notifications so you don't miss another video. My name's Raj and here are the top stories for this week. Number one, Tesla's full self-driving software is finally launching outside of the United States. GMC is using the Tesla Model S Plaid to benchmark their future electric vehicles, maybe? Rivian's R1T finally sees its first initial resale values. Tesla's future looks to be in multitudes as it sees an upcoming stock split. Time to get rich. The Boring Tunnels tunnels in Las Vegas are finally going to be officially driverless. The GMC Hummer's pre-orders as well as their conversion. Tesla's end of quarter numbers and lastly, the Cyber Rodeo in Giga Austin. Let's get into it. Okay, our next story is dedicated to our neighbors up north, the Canadians. They are finally getting a taste of Tesla's full self-driving as it finally launches outside of the United States. It's still in beta, but it officially launches. So cheers to you, mates. Uh, one sec, I, I need to change. Much better. FSD beta in Canada, eh? Well, cheers to you guys. Welcome to the club of driving or having the car drive you and welcome to the club of curbed wheels. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, hey, listen, gotta be honest. I've been on full self-driving beta for two years now and uh, yeah, rest in peace wheels. <laughs> but what's interesting about a full self-driving launching in Canada is number one, it's the first time that full self-driving has launched outside of the United States. And that's because of regulatory and the, the streets and maps of anywhere outside of the United States is different. And the car has to learn that. And so Tesla has to go through a lot of checks and balances to ensure that the vehicle is going to perform well in those countries. So it's probably going to be a while before we see it launching anywhere outside, but glad to see Canada's next. Now, there's one caveat to Canada, and that's that while it's launched in Canada, it doesn't work in downtown Toronto. Now, just to put that in context, about one in five Canadians and about 44% of Ontarians live in the greater Toronto area, but FSD beta won't work in downtown Toronto. And that's due to Toronto's streetcars. Yeah, these guys right here. If you haven't seen them before, they're kind of these metro buses that uh, run through the city. And Elon did say that FSD beta doesn't handled them properly. So as of right now, downtown Toronto is geofenced off. If you're outside of the area, FSD beta will work. And if you're in, it just won't. So welcome to the club of FSD Canada, sort of, I guess. Now our next story is involving GMC's electric Hummer. Yes, the Hummer that we all once knew that was our army used that I believe Arnold Schwarzenegger used as I'll well. I'll be back. Uh, the big monstrosity that people got made fun of for being a gas guzzling giant, in retrospect, has been made into an electric vehicle. GMC is reporting 65,000 pre-orders. Clearly us Americans really love their Hummers <laughs> and wanna go electric. I don't know what to say about that, but what's really shocking is the conversion. Now, if you haven't checked out Marquez Brownlee's latest video on electric vehicles and pre-orders and how it's a ridiculous thing, um, I'll put a link to it uh, right up here or down below, uh, but check that out. Now, uh, what's fascinating about GMC is while a lot of people have pre-ordered 65,000, they're reporting a 95% conversion. And that means 95% of those 65,000 pre-orders are people that are actually following through with their order. Hardcore GMC fans, all American, yeehaw. Way to go, GMC and the Hummer community. Uh, I can't wait to see these on the road and see what they're all about and them hogging up two parking spots. Yeah. Next story. The total wealth that's held into art is worth $1.7 trillion. Yeah, I know. I wish I owned some art. But unfortunately, I just can't afford art from some of my favorite artists like Banksy or Basquiat, who went from an unknown graffiti artist to selling a piece at Sotheby's for $100 million. I just can't 
afford that, unfortunately, as a YouTuber. That is until today's sponsor, Masterworks. Now, Masterworks allows you to invest in the same art that they do. Uh, art from some of your favorite artists like Banksy or Basquiat or Monet, all for a fraction of their purchase price. Oh, look, contemporary art prices are outpacing S&P 500 by 164%, so clearly art is where to be. Now, they make it super easy to sign up. You go to their website, create an account, log in, and start browsing art, and start creating a diverse portfolio. Now, if you don't wanna wait for Masterworks to sell that piece for you to gain your return, you can actually sell what you own on their secondary market. Think of it as selling stock like you would on Robinhood. Look, when it comes to selling art, Masterworks knows what they're doing. In 2020, they returned 32% to its investors, and in 2021, they returned 31%. Those are amazing numbers. If you wanna check out Masterworks and get priority access to start creating your diverse art portfolio today, click the link down in the description below. Now, let's get back to the video. Now, our next story is involving GM, General Motors, the ones who have so creatively changed their logo to what seems like Elon's name morphed. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, those guys, um, they are actually attesting a Plaid Model S. That's right. They have acquired a Plaid Model S and they're using it to benchmark vehicles. Now, we don't know what vehicles are benchmarking. Uh, rumor has it that they're going to be converting more on their lineup to electric vehicles, obviously, as Biden has so proudly <laughs> made clear. But what are those vehicles? Maybe they're using it to benchmark their Corvette. All we know is that the Plaid has set the new standard in performance vehicle. And so, GM is going to use that, it just only tells me that they're going to be working on a performance vehicle. So, you know, maybe it's the Corvette, maybe it's the, uh, who am I kidding? I don't know GM vehicles, but GM is clearly holding a high standard and, and hopefully they can deliver with that and deliver a fast vehicle, maybe close to a Plaid, but I highly doubt they're going to be at Plaid speeds. Let's just be honest. Plaid is Plaid. Once you go Plaid, you don't go back once... They've gone to Plaid. We've gone to Plaid. Plaid is the highest speed, so maybe they'll hit ludicrous. <laughs> maybe. Or maybe they'll hit insane. But, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, GM. Show me what you got. Now, our next story is involving Elon Musk's The Boring Company. They're boring company tunnels that were built in Las Vegas. Now, these are tunnels that are built underneath the ground. It allows for fast transport and was promised to be driverless. Well, ever since its initial launch in June of 2021, the boring tunnels that are in Las Vegas, it's a three station transport system running about 1.7 miles has always had a safety driver. Somebody was in the vehicle. Uh, you go down into these tunnels, you get into a Tesla vehicle and the vehicle transports you from one end of the Las Vegas Convention Center to other stops in the convention, convention center. Now this is actually planned to be constructed all through Vegas to now be able to take you to hotels and so forth coming in the future, but these vehicles are still being driven. There's someone in the driver's seat and Elon Musk did promise that these would be driverless in the future. Well, that all changes as of this week. The Boring Company shared on their Twitter page Wednesday evening uh, that they activated full self-driving version 10.11.1 for their entire Las Vegas Convention Center vehicle fleet, and they ran several test vehicles without any drivers, and that many of those attendees enjoyed a flawless drive. So that's awesome. Looking forward to going to Vegas uh, hopefully soon and enjoying one of these driverless drives through one of these psychedelic tunnels that the Boring Company has built. All right, exciting news for Tesla shareholders. A Tesla wants to pay its shareholders a dividend. Now, a stock dividend is a dividend paid to shareholders in the form of additional company shares instead of cash. So on the next annual shareholders meeting, Tesla will hold this to a vote. It will ask its shareholders if it can pay dividends in the form of a split. Thus, you as a shareholder will now gain more shares than what you had before. Now, initially, it will be still worth the same value. 
If I take a dollar and rip it into five pieces, I still have a dollar, but I have five pieces. Essentially, your growth will come in the form as the stock continues to rise. Now, just for some historical context, the company last split in August of 2020. And at that time, they split the company five for one. Every one share you had, you were given five. Now, since then, shares have more than doubled. So you can only imagine that for the long time invested shareholders, this is going to be extremely beneficial, especially as we look at the future. For Tesla, it's just money, money, money. Money, 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 money. So more to come on that, but stay tuned to the annual shareholders meeting, which still has not been given a date yet to find out if this should carry through. Next is the Q1 2022 Tesla delivery numbers. Now they, of course, again, reported a record breaking quarter with over 310,000 deliveries. That's insane. That's another record breaking quarters. Keep in mind that that's a missed, you know, inflation, supply chain issues, and all sorts of stuff. The vehicles continue to rise in price, yet deliveries and orders did not slow down. Now, 310,000 vehicles puts them on pace to have a million vehicles delivered this year out of four factories. Currently, they only have a factory in Fremont and Shanghai. We see Giga Berlin has just come online and Austin is next. So with four factories and they're already on pace at 300K, we'll easily see over a million vehicles delivered this year. So a uh, great news for Tesla and like what we were talking about before, it's going to be great news for uh, stock and I'm not a stock analyst, but hey, you know what? I, I don't know. All I'm saying is that my future might be bright as far as our, you know, wallets are concerned. Might be uh, counting those bills if you invest wisely. I am not a financial analyst. Just hear me out on that one. And that's this week's news. Oh, oh once. Oh, oh, I think I should take this. Yeah, oh, one sec. Hey, Elon, uh, sorry, I hit you up earlier because I wanted to reach out to you and let you know that I haven't gotten a ticket to uh, Giga Texas yet for the, the Cyber Rodeo. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a really big fan. I just, you know, I've been a big Tesla fan for a long time. I have my Model 3 and I just, I would love to, to come if it's possible. That's going to be how it is. I mean, I will give anything. I, I, I I love Tesla to the core. I love everything you do. I'm a hardcore Tesla fan. Well, I, I don't think we have to worry about... Uh, Could I please? Prove me wrong and that would be great. I, I promise you, I dedicate my life to Tesla. If you would just please, if I could, if I could get to Austin, maybe, please. Well, I, I don't think we have to worry about... Uh, so, is that a yes? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So when would I get an email? Today. Oh yeah? Oh my God, thank you so much, Elon, I, I, Mr. Musk. I, I don't, yeah, I, I mean, anything you need, you just let me know. I uh, really, really appreciate it. Thank you, and I'll, I'll see you in Texas. Dude, that's right, we're going to Austin. Uh, no, that was not Elon on the phone, but we are going to Austin next week. Uh, thankfully, I am someone's plus one, so I will be there. Uh, and so look forward to next week's news report with probably some clips and some highlights from the event. Um, that's it for this week. I'll catch you guys next week. See ya.